prochain arrêt, Pont de l'Alma. Un voyage ou something? Un yeah, voyage. Gosh. It's like glowing today, isn't it? Pretty nice, but it's, it's a little yeah, bit deep. It's more of like a bowl, I guess. It's more of like a bowl, it's not like a, yeah. a plate as such. Else? That one's pretty nice. It's kind of nice, the flowers. It's kind of. How many days to Christmas? Uh, les trois, les deux, les trois, quatre, quatre. Quatre. Cinq. Quatre. Cinq. 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 Time. Also got Tani. Say hello, where are we? Uh, hello. Oui, c'est ça? Oui, oui, oui. Oui, oui, Okay. Oui, 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 oui. Oui, oui, bien sûr. <laughs> Thank you. 
I can feel it. I can see it coming. <laughs> I can see it coming. <laughs> It's kind of gooey, but it tastes like it's pretty sweet. So we've got this. Well, when, when do we reveal it? No, do you know, I, I think after. we... After. <laughs> yeah, I think we reveal it. I have our secrets. Yeah, okay. Fine. I think... We can reveal it. Yeah, it's fine. So cute. Oh my god. It's so beautiful. Oh. I love the wrapping. Oh, oh Charlie! <laughs> yes, I, this is exactly what I wanted! <laughs> 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 the, the penguins are in Kodak, like they've got Kodak film around them. Do you see? It's little Kodak films. That's so cute. <laughs> Oh, 
first six weeks or so of living in Paris was turbulent and mostly I avoided diaries, vlogs because during these times I don't want to have the opportunity to look back at memories and remember how I felt that day and when things feel bleak my thoughts short circuit and I'm just too tired to look at them all deeply but when I put this vlog together actually I had quite a bit of footage, I had hours. Looking at these videos it probably seems dramatic to say that things felt bleak but this country gate keeps itself with difficult admin and every other migrant expat experiences the similar slaps in the face here even just doing things like paying taxes opening a bank account looking for an apartment are 10 times more difficult than they are in some more streamlined countries and there's just so many dead ends so many no's unanswered requests and you have this, this list and you just can't cross anything off. It creates this um, claustrophobia that lacks personality and flexibility and leaves me foggy and tense even in moments of calm. And I'm also unwilling to manipulate my life, like my social class, my visa type, my income, my willpower for like a, a mirage. I know most people struggle with Paris in their first months. They say the highs are high and the lows are low. And it's true. And I think what one part of this is the house hunting. I house hunted in Paris for two weeks, and which is not bad in terms of timeline. But even then, nothing snaps you from delusion than the facts of a rental market. It's the opposite of dream dreaminess. It's factual and so factual it's beyond the pragmatic or the logical. Like, I saw a place that had the toilet in the room, like in the bedroom, no walls. So, yeah, I actually found it so easy to give up on the romantic, over romanticized vision of living inside Paris. I don't think I ever had it in the first place, but once I experienced it while living in Montmartre, it just felt like being inside the party, and it's like you'll never break out of it and go into a sense of ease. I've been back in France now for about three weeks and I think it's probably the worst three weeks so far and since I've been back it's just been a bureaucracy hellhole like nothing I do works yeah but I had a bit of a rage walk to go get like some film developed it's just so funny because I was like oh my god I feel like I haven't even realised I'm in the city yet that I live here um, and it's just so beautiful to rage walk around trying to take a breath I'm just so mad <laughs> the place with my partner in Bois Colomb. It's on a metro line so I haven't given Paris up. It's it isn't far. Uh, I go in all the time but in the suburb there's houses and there's lawns and it's safe and I don't need to be hyper vigilant at all times and the footpaths are wide and I'm not circumnavigating hundreds of people to do something minor like buy milk. And I'm already content and I think I could be content here for a while. France gives me butterflies like sometimes I'll leave my apartment and get on the bus to go somewhere and I'm just so full of like love 
but I don't want to be in the heart of the beast so, you know, I, I think Paris is it's something that's always evolving in my mind but never settling into something where I know how to, to feel about it yet didn't get much from the flea market I thought it was pretty overpriced but I managed to get these sort of weighted crystal for um it was like four for ten euros and they're pretty heavy so I mean it's nothing ornate which is what flea markets are for but anything that wasn't super plain where they were charging a lot for but I thought this yeah it's a good deal got for Thank you.